Muy buenas a YouTube, bienvenidos a un nuevo vídeo. Hoy vamos a hablar un poquito de Mario. Y es que la semana pasada tuvimos ese Nintendo Direct de Mario Wonder, juego que sale el 20 de octubre. Y que bueno, pues hasta ahora no lo he visto. He visto un poquito, un minuto, pero no he visto todos los poderes ni todas las cosas. Así que eh, esperando eh, reaccionar a él con vosotros. Bueno, pues también ha salido la noticia. La semana pasada también se filtró o se dijo que el Char Martinet, la persona que daba voz a Mario durante desde Nintendo 64, desde Mario 64, bueno, pues eh, dejaba de dar la voz a Mario. No sé quién se pondrá ahora mismo a cargo de ello, pero Nintendo ha querido publicar un vídeo hoy viernes de viernes 8 para publicarle la noticia directamente. Aquí tienes un mensaje especial de Sigiro Miyamoto y Charles Martinet sobre el cambio de actor de voz de Mario que se anunció el 21 de agosto. O sea, ya hace más de una semana. ¿Vale? Aquí está Miyamoto hablando con él. Vamos a reaccionar a este vídeo, a este hombre, porque... De alguna manera es el que nos puso la voz a, a Mario durante muchos años. Esperamos que siga una persona que imita esa voz, imite esa voz un poco que sea muy parecido y que no, no discrepe mucho de lo que tenemos hasta el momento, porque sería algo muy radical. Eh, y había gente que decía que por qué Charles Martínez no puso la voz a Mario en la película. Bueno, evidentemente Nintendo ya tenía todo programado y... Eh, Escuchar a este hombre durante una película quizás hubiera sido bastante eh, difícil. No es lo mismo que te esté hablando durante un, una frasecita y demás a que te esté escuchando durante una hora y media durante la película la voz así. Vale, a mí ha sido un acierto que la película no fuera este hombre que, que doblara a Mario, pero que en los juegos sí que lo vamos a añorar. Vamos a estar un poco tristes porque no va a sonar la misma voz. Pero bueno, este hombre tiene su reconocimiento... Eh, Estuve viendo un vídeo de cómo lo, lo entrevistaron, cómo lo cogieron de voz y es bastante llamativo que, que una persona así pues haya llegado a ser eh, la voz del personaje del videojuego más importante. Yo creo que Mario es el personaje más importante del mundo del videojuego, más reconocible y que Nintendo, bueno, pues es su buque insignia. De alguna manera, aunque Zelda nos guste mucho y demás, eh, Mario es el personaje principal de, de Nintendo y que este hombre haya dado voz durante tantos años, pues es meritorio. Vamos a escuchar la voz de este hombre, vamos a escuchar el mensaje y, y hablamos sobre ello. Hello everybody, it's me, Charles. Woohoo. You know, today is a very big day for yeah, Nintendo, triste, Nintendo, the Mushroom Kingdom, and for me. Now you may know me for voicing characters from Nintendo's games like Super Mario, Luigi, oh, oh, Wario, and Way Luigi. And today I'm happy to share with all of you that I'm stepping into a brand new role as the Mario Ambassador. Woohoo! Traveling around the world, sharing the joy of the Mario family, and being able to continue meeting with all of you with wonderful fans who I cherish absolutely the most is a great, great honor. I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of you at events around the world in the years to come. Let's go! Over to Mr. Miyamoto. チャールズさんこんにちは。チャールズさん、あなたと初めて会ったのはどのようにもこうしたいんですか。パリオとその後に出てきたんですけど、様々なゲームやプロジェクトを通して長い道のりを一緒に楽しんでいます。1996年のス
そしてマリオファンの皆さん私たちとともにチャールズさんを称え彼の新しい役割での活躍にお伝えくださいチャールズさん本当にありがとうございました Thank you very much チャールズ Thank you so much <笑>パパ For many years it's been a privilege to be able to bring your amazingly wonderful characters to life I am completely honored and joyed Thank you My favorite thing in the world is to meet Mario fans, fellow Mario fans like me, because I, I'm just so grateful for your joy and happiness and enthusiasm. I think all that we're here to do, or all that I'm here to do, is to touch your hearts, to make you smile, to make you laugh, and bring a little bit of that magic of happiness. And it's been such an honor and such a joy for so many years that I look forward to continuing to bring that joy and, and help us all remember our innocence and our happiness And our joy through great games. And to all Mario fans around the world, I look forward to meeting you at some future events. Okie dokie, let's go! Wahoo! Va, está tremendo, la verdad, este, el trabajo de este hombre, tremendo. No tiene, no tiene otra palabra, es decir, bueno, ha puesto la voz a Mario, tampoco es, ha hecho aquí, pero que que es la, la voz que hemos estado escuchando desde nuestra infancia, desde el crecimiento. Más que nada en Mario, porque en Mario poca cosa, los ruidos y demás. Mario Kart, hemos escuchado muchas voces y, y resto de juegos, eh, Mario Tennis y demás. Eh, bueno, Mario Wonder, a ver qué, quién ponen, la verdad. Pero es, yo supongo que la razón es porque este hombre es muy mayor. Y han dicho, vamos a buscar un sustituto ya directamente, antes de encontrarnos con una, alguna situación eh, peleaguda. Y este hombre de que descanse ya, que se dedique a ir a ferias y demás, como bueno, embajador de Mario. Eh, yo supongo que Nintendo lo tiene en nómina de alguna manera y no lo va a dejar escapar porque va a decir, este hombre... Eh, los japoneses dirán, este hombre lo tenéis en nómina y punto, no, no vamos a dejarlo, no vamos a dejarlo de lado. Vamos a ver el trailer, vamos a ver ese Nintendo Direct del pasado 31 de agosto, que no lo había visto hasta ahora, y vamos a reaccionar a él. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. Una otra dimensión. Bowser es merged with Prince Florian's castle. Se fusionó en el castillo. Cambia todo, ¿no? Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Now it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. Me quedó el zapo ese, ¿no? Para el juego sea más fácil. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Let's jump in. Acabo de convencer la perspectiva de Mario así, eh. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. 
An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. A rich variety of yeah. courses await in each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely Podría through open areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Get close and... They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. They might give you hints. Or coins. Personajes. Besides Mario, you can also play as Navit, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, one of two Toads, and Toadette. They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. The Yoshi's and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit, so watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshi's can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks into your business. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. Oh. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos, Locky Twos, and other familiar foes are also here. No poderes. Next, let's look at the new power ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies, destroy blocks, and even do this. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? <laughs> it's not just Mario, though. Peach, Daisy, and Toadette all have elephant forms as well. The bubble form allows you to blow light, floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. They'll also drift toward nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go, defeat typically impervious foes, and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them like platforms. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky or hard-headed enemies a breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. It also allows you to burrow and move through the ground. In a tough spot, dig away. More fácil, no? You can even burrow into the ceiling. <laughs> Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. La flor de siempre, fuego. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power up. Globo con objeto. In a pinch, bust out a power up. Or swap vale, them to better fit the situation.
Maravilla, la flor es que como hace la del Bowser del Castillo en principio. Is a wonder flower, a plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power locura, that Bowser ¿no? was after. Flor locura. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some Perfecto interesting maravilla. changes. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. Ostras. The Pero terrain may cosa, ¿eh? tilt. You can end up in a free fall. Bubbles might uh bubble up. Your perspective can Ostras, change. Ostras, perspectiva. Locura. Or you might float through space. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba? <laughs> Or a spike ball? Or blow up like a balloon? When you touch a wonder flower, always expect the unexpected. Collect a wonder seed sí, and the course will return to normal. Yeah. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Señora. Insignias. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the parachute cap badge. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with a wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching high jump badge. Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the grappling vine badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bounce badge. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. Draw in nearby Mula with the coin magnet badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. You will not stop dashing with the jet run badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. <laughs> There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to yeah, the unconventional. El, el Only one Después badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Retos. While others can be purchased from poplin shops on the world map. Ah, bueno, be sure no, to exchange flower tienen. coins you collect in courses for badges. A jugar en compa en compañía. Va bien, multijugador local. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch console. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi, or if you're an elephant. Hostia, por ello sí. Juego en línea, a ver qué tiene en línea, va. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. Hostia, qué locura. These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Oh, te pueden ayudar. Hostia. Players can send greetings. <coughs> and share in-game items. Mm. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. 
you can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. Ah, la figura la usas como si fuera otro compañero. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Oh. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, Ostras, reaching the gold guapo, together, eh? and more will earn you heart points. Si yo utilizo un cartón de otro, While a playing online, monedas. you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. Así, pues, In a shared amigos. room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Go run for it. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races. You can enhance your experience with online play. Este seguramente lo juego con los peques. No, no subiremos al canal. Dudo que lo subo al canal este. La aventura. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends. When Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on Nintendo Switch October 20th. Plus, a new Mario Red themed Nintendo Switch OLED model console is also on the way. If you look closely, you'll find Mario pues eso and some hidden coins. La, en vez de la parte trasera, Nintendo eso viene puesto Switch, delante. OLED la cibeta del Mario viene guapa ahí al lado de la de Switch. No entiendo, no entiendo el tío que tenía la idea ahí de decir vamos a colocar esto en la parte trasera. En la parte trasera no lo va a ver nadie, solo cuando lo desmontes, cuando montes la consola y ya está. ¿Por qué no la has puesto en la parte delantera? Tal cual, guapo, como el del Zelda. O sea, hubieras hecho el diseño perfecto. No entiendo tampoco el, el que ha decidido hacer eso así, pero vamos, para mí es un error. Bueno, pues hemos visto estas dos noticias de, de Nintendo. Sí que se está hablando mucho de, de Switch 2. Eh, vamos a recopilar información y os lo traeré en otro vídeo. Eh, pero Mario era el orden del día y vamos a hablar un poquito de cómo está Mario. Esperamos una DC 2, evidentemente, pues eso se lo estarán dejando, supongo, para la próxima consola. Y bueno, está muy bueno Mario Wonder. Sabéis que tenéis Mario RPG también. El, el título que saldrá en noviembre así que el fin de año lo tenemos movido con, con Mario en Nintendo Switch espero que os guste este vídeo si os like, suscribiros al canal para más y nos vemos en el próximo Hasta pronto